Their investigation may be over, but fire officials are still working to extinguish the fire that destroyed the Sanford Mill. We have had numerous small fires in these buildings over the years. Uh, if you notice on the front of this building, there's a placard that the fire department put up there two years ago, which basically said stay out of this building. No interior fire operations will ever happen in this building. Today, the state fire marshal's office announcing that three boys ages 12 and 13 have been charged with arson for setting the fire last Friday. Using the investigative techniques that we, uh, we did, we were able to find some information that was available out there and followed those uh, leads as best we could and obviously they became fruitful as far as being able to find uh, what we were looking for. The fire marshal said the boys are cooperating and lucky to be alive. The Sanford fire chief adding that children starting fires is unfortunately not uncommon. Juvenile fire setter problem uh, within the state of Maine as well as the country is still quite substantial and it's, it comes from a number of things of fascination of fire or, and, a, and a host of other things but in this case I think these people thought they were used to doing some things and I don't know whether they got away from them but. Officials said that because of structural concerns they are unable to enter the building and instead conducted the investigation from the outside. One of the most telling parts for us in our investigation was actually through the use of a drone uh, above the fire scene where we could actually see some of the burn patterns that we would characteristically look for inside uh, doing an investigation inside the building. The good news, two homeless men missing after the fire were located safely in Portland this morning.